Welcome back everyone. Now, before I tell you where we are today, what we've done, we've actually done our own website. And what I'm going to do is put the link in the description below. And also loads of you have asked for merchandise. So we've bought out some merchandise as well. And that's on the website, but we'll also put a link to the merchandise as well. So where are we today? Today, we're in Surbiton. By Nix's uh, zebra crossing here, or Pendleton crossing, whatever crossing it is. Now, loads of you have said, Gary, can you try some Persian food? So for the first time on our channel, that's what we're going to do. Where are we going? We're going to Bamanoush. As always, let's give it a go. <coughs> also, we're on TikTok. So take a look at that if you can. Come on then. Come in, we're open. Just as well, hey. So we've come inside. Now, the first thing I want to say, this has got to be one of the nicest restaurants I've ever been in. You've got to take a look around here. Decoration wise, it's fantastic, brilliant lighting here. What I really like is all the pictures on the wall. It's got such a lovely feel to it. And uh, I'll tell you the house that's really interesting here. It's got a mini shop. So um, again, they've got all the ingredients here. They've got teas, sauces, hot sauces, everything. Uh, cakes, desserts, and you can take them all away. So I'm actually going to uh, take a look at that. Obviously, I want to see what the meal's like first, but uh, yeah, I've got such a nice feeling here. The staff, so helpful, really, really helpful. We're actually, uh, me and the camera, are having a real laugh here because uh, my pronunciations, and you're going to hear this in a minute, is so bad. And uh, the guy who's uh, working here today, he's trying to help me. So taking a look through here, wow. Great selection of uh, warm and cold starters, seafood grills, uh, sherers and mixed grills there. And if you turn over, you've got stews, wraps, lots of vegan dishes, burgers and sandwiches. But I'll let you guys have a look at that. Now, I'm going to have the Zeresh Polo. Now, I know I've got that wrong, but that's the best I can do. Um, now, this is a grilled half baby chicken in an aromatic and seasoned uh, tomato sauce served with saffron rice and mixed with barberries. Now, uh, barberries are kind of like cranberries, but a little bit more tart, if you like. Now, um, I'm actually gonna have a starter as well. Uh, just, just the Zeresh Polo is 18.95. I'm gonna go for a soup. It's a little bit chilly out there. So I'm gonna go for the soup joe, which is barley with mixed fresh herbs and uh, chicken, and that's £6.95. And you know us, we like to get a real good mix and feel for uh, what they offer here. So I'm going to get their lamb kubidere uh, kebab wrap, which basically is their lamb kebab coming in a wrap. Now I could have had that with um, chilli sauce or um, their mint yoghurt. Now you know me, I really like my chilli sauce. So I've gone for chilli sauce. Let's hope it's not too hot. Now. I've also ordered um, a pot of their Persian tea, um, and that's £6.95. Um, the Kuba there is £10.95. So I'm going to see you when the meal arrives. Actually, I'm going to see you when the um, Persian tea arrives, because I've got to see how the, this is presented. See you guys shortly. Okay, so the tea's arrived. Not your regular looking tea here. Take a look at this. This presentation is outstanding. So you've got the pot here. As you take a look under, obviously it's heated. I'll be mum. Put that on there. Presentation wise, wow. And there's the sugar. Oh, and my soup's just arrived as well, so that's excellent. Okay, so, so then you've got your sugar. That's like a lollipop, isn't it? I guess you just Put it in there, swirl it around.
my first Persian tea. Oh, that's really refreshing. That is excellent. So, definitely going to get some tea to take away. Now I've got my stew here, so get a close up on my stew. So here's my soup joe. Now, it's barley with herbs and chicken in there. Nice smell, not overpowering in any shape or form. Now, I'm told that I need to first squeeze some lemon in there as well. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Visually, it's, it's dancing at me. I like the fact it's come on a white plate here. It's an excellent portion as well. The colours are very vibrant, so it really stands out. Now, yeah, it's all about the flavour, isn't it? Just a close, close up in here. You can see the barley in there, the chicken, all the herbs. So, yeah, very good. Barley, you can taste the barley, there's some nice herbs in there. Now, I was a bit dubious putting lemon in there. The lemon has really brought out the flavours there of the chicken. I got a zingy feel to it. Really good. Hmm. I definitely say it's going to be very filling. It's um. How can I say it's very very hearty, lovely and hot as well. That is really good, and the lemon really brings it out. Excellent. I love the fresh herbs. Mmm. Very good. When I put the lemon on there, I was kind of like, well, I'm not too sure what it's going to bring. It's just going to bring the lemony or lemon flavour to it all. However, put the lemon in there, you've got the citrus of the lemon, which sort of really wakens the mouth. And as you have the soup, it brings all the flavours out. It is an excellent combination. I'm really, really surprised. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. Okay. Okay, so my Zuresh polo has arrived. Presentation, that's excellent, isn't it? It's just so many colours in there. I mean, it just looks truly, truly gorgeous. Um, now this is um, saffron rice mixed with uh, yogurt. Obviously, um, we've got my burberries there with um, the saffron rice. My chicken is underneath, so we'll take a look at that in a second. We've got your tomato sauce there. Looking forward to that. The aroma of that. Wow, we've got a bit of side salad there as well. Well, presentation wise, portion wise, that's incredible. I don't actually want to, I don't want to tuck in because it's like a picture, isn't it? But, got to tuck in. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the rice here, with the barberries in it. First time ever having barberries. As I said earlier on, looks, I looked up to see what they were, and they're like pomegranates, but not as sweet. And they're not actually sour either. Again, brilliant flavours in there. The rice is cooked absolutely fantastically well. I'll tell you what I am going to do here. I'm then going to try it with some of the tomato here. Put chicken in there as well. Come over the smell of that. Mm. 
go so well together. Real deep tomato flavour in there. Really. The spices in there, it's strange because at one moment I was thinking, oh, right, I'm going to get a kick of spice in. There's no spice at all. Loads of flavour, all the spice flavour coming through. That is like incredible. Let's try this guy over here before I hit the chicken. The only way I can describe that is kind of like a rice pudding, but without the, the sweetness. It's got an excellent saffron flavour in that. That is really, really tasty. Now, let's, let's dig in here and find the chicken. Oh, well, there you go. So it's baby chicken. Oh, look at the way that just falls away. Just pulls away. You've got to get the smells there. That, that's got an incredible smell. Mm. The chicken is cooked perfectly. When you take another close up here, it just look just falls away. That is so, so good. Again, it's got some nice spice on the outside. But when I mean spice, it's not hot at all. It's just flavours. Okay, the other thing I want you to see is how warm it is. You can see the, the steam rising. I'm just going to lift that away. Because again, down here, you can see the juices. Going into that rice will be absolutely incredible in flavour. In fact, I'm going to try it now. I'm not just saying this. <clears throat> the flavour of the chicken is totally blown me away. It's so, so well cooked. As I said before, it just falls away. It is excellent chicken. Okay. In a few minutes, I'm going to try these guys, which is the lamb kubidere. Ooh. Now, if the lamb is half as good as the chicken, I'm gonna have the biggest smile on my face ever. Incredible flavors. So, my Kubiner is here, my lamb Kubiner. Cameraman's licking his lips because he knows there's no way I'm gonna eat all of this. Again, the smells are incredible. What I wanna do is just open one up here, just so we can see what's inside. Nicely wrapped. There's no way that's gonna go back in the same way, is it? Excellent. So you've got the lamb there. You can see the juice coming out of that lamb. All the salad. You've got some, um, I think it's tomato underneath. Well, you've got tomato and cucumber with lettuce, but you've got some uh, tomato underneath as well. Now, Gary, wrap it properly. Like a professional. First bite of a Kubernetes. I said to you, it's tomato sauce underneath. Of course, I didn't order tomato sauce, did I? I said I want some chili sauce, some hot sauce. This isn't like hot. Ooh, this is brilliant. Opens up the, uh, your tongue, your taste buds. The lamb is just so tender. I've got to, I've got to show you again. It is so tender. Look in there. The juice from the lamb into the wrap is just perfect. That is outrageously good. The freshness of the salad is a combination altogether. I'm going to describe it as one word. It's wrong. It's so good, it's wrong. <laughs> I, I've, honestly, I've, I'm just staggered how good that is. Poor cameraman's worrying here in case I eat both of them. There's no chance of me doing that. He's in for the treat of a lifetime. Absolutely incredible. Mm -mm. Okay, so I finished my meal. Bamanoush. Wow.
Um, this we've done 94 videos. This is going to be the 95th, and I can honestly say that I'm sitting here just blown away. This is the best restaurant I have visited on our channel, easily. And I have visited some very, very good places, and I'm not trying to knock them in any shape or form, but I'm sitting here like, wow, I'm, I keep looking around. It is stunning in here. And the standards are impeccable. Service is out, outstanding. The guy was so patient, he was so helpful. I haven't even started on the food yet, and you know, I, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm like, wow, love the tea as well. Again, it's just simple things. Look at that for presentation. It's just, it's just top draw. Now onto the food. Normally I just, I go through everything line by line and here we go. I'm not going to. Soup was exceptional. Kebab was exceptional. The chicken was exceptional. It's, uh, it's boring, but honestly, you know, uh, it's, it's hard to explain the flavors. You know, they, as, you, as you have the, each individual dish, the flavours are, are just, they're, they're borderline complicated without the complications. You see me, I've got a smile on my face. The only way you're going to know how good the dishes were, the only way is if you get down here and you give it a try yourself because I definitely am coming back without a shadow of a doubt. I will be back again and again. Well, and the, the portions, oh my God, every, all the portions were huge portions. You know, both me and the cameraman had a great time here. You know, really relaxed, taken our time, and we really enjoyed it. Oh, I don't know what else to say. On to the bill. For my soup was six pound ninety-five. For my chicken was eighteen ninety-five. For my uh, lamb wrap was ten pound ninety-five. The interesting thing is because we were in here lunchtime, the tea was complimentary, so it came to a total of thirty-six pound eighty-five. You've got to bear in mind here, that would more than cover for two people. Value for money-wise, as you look at portions there, easy for two people. So you're looking at, what, £18.50 for two? Sorry, each. What marks I'm going to give it? Now, I know it's not possible to go higher than a 10 out of 10. It's not possible. 10 out of 10 is 10 out of 10, isn't it? So what am I going to give it? I'm going to give it. 11, 12, 13, 14, because it's one of the best meals I've ever had. So yeah, I'm going to break the rules this time, and I'm really, really sorry. But sometimes you have to break the rules, and sometimes you have to just acknowledge and say it's exceptionally good. I really, really love to hear your comments. What did you think of that? That food to me was, it was pictures on a plate. The colours, the vibrancies, you can get the smells, but the smells were there. Oh, dear me. It was so good. But I want to hear from you. What did you think? Until next time. Oh, if you could like and subscribe to the channel. You know, I always appreciate that. And until next time. Cheers. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit here. Finish me tea. With a smile on my face. Bye-bye.